I dropped my son off for a hike. And an hour and a half later, a hundred minutes later, I get a phone call that he was hit by a drunk driver. Elisa McMorris lost her 12-year-old son, Andrew, after a drunk driver plowed into his Boy Scout troop in Manorville, Long Island, three years ago. Ever since that fateful day, she's been fighting to get drunk driving prevention technology installed in all vehicles to stop tragedies such as Andrew's from ever happening again. If we have self-driving cars, we can have driver-assisted technology in the vehicles that will help keep our roads safe. Congressional lawmakers are finally answering McMorris's calls. The $1 trillion bipartisan Infrastructure and Jobs Act includes a burst of new spending aimed at improving auto safety. Under the legislation, monitoring systems to stop drunk drivers would roll out in all new vehicles as early as 2026. This should be literally detecting blood alcohol content as you breathe. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, approximately one-third of all traffic crash fatalities in the United States involve drunk drivers. Over a 10-year period from 2010 to 2019, more than 10,000 people died on average per year in drunk driving crashes. And in 2019 alone, one person was killed in a drunk driving crash every 52 minutes. We have been talking about trying to get out ahead of these 10,000-plus drunk driving deaths a year for many, many years. This technology can help us get there very quickly. The NHTSA also reporting a recent spike in traffic collisions attributed to impaired driving, speeding, and not wearing seatbelts during the coronavirus pandemic. President Biden's infrastructure plan will dedicate $17 billion in total to road safety, the biggest increase in such funding in decades. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News.